So you'll see Ashland post players do this time and time again where they do their early work. They really dig in and post hard. And in this championship game, Minnesota Duluth does a pretty good job. You can tell they've scouted well. They try to pick up early in transition and fight for position and start actually getting physical with them early in that elbow area so that Ashland can't come down and just establish post presence or position with ease. So let's keep rolling it here and take a look. They'll throw a lot of these skip passes when they see the help defender in there. Now this is a common action that they will do. They will, on reversal, let's take one more look. So on reversal, they'll use this ball screen and then they will roll that post, the person who screens into the post. The other post player will lift out where you see this player now taking the three. One more time there, let's take a look at it. So again, we've got the ball screen, 42, set the screen, is going to roll in there. This other post play, player will replace on the outside, 25. Again, they're, they're looking in there, they dig in, they kick out, they get the three. And that's everything their post players do do a good job of. They keep their head up so when they need to kick it out to the perimeter, they can. A lot of post players at all levels, they get their head down and they don't maintain vision. Again, here's some of that ball screen and roll and replace action. They'll shallow cut like you just saw there. Again, patience, no rush. Let's take a look at it again. So they're going to ball screen and roll. They'll make this little shallow cut here, overload the, the strong side. Look at a nice little left-handed bounce pass, throws it in there. Then we got nice little crab dribble, goes over to that left hook shot. They will throw those skip passes if the weak side defender is cheating in the paint. Now this is a great thing. This is small but big. So a little ball screen. Now watch this. Boom. That little up fake right there, look, gets the defender up in the air. And now the passer, the post feed, and this is something you can tell that is an emphasis in their practice. Never watched one of Ashland's practices, but I gotta think that they spend a lot of time on feeding the post, throwing away from the defender, learning how to up fake and bounce or, or down fake and throw it up high. These are key elements of feeding the post. Again, right here, gonna just do a quick spin off, which is a really nice post move when you're getting pressure on your back. This is against a team that went 32 and 3. This is not this is not the low level competition they're just stacking this on. Great high seal here. Look at this. They they read the post defender. That's the other thing that I want to point out. So 42 when she caught it, the post defender was inside. So rather than swing it, she kicked it right back so that her buddy, her post player here is going to then seal out because she's going to try to fight over the top. She holds that seal high. Great catch and finish. A lot of players might put it on the deck right there and bounce it. She just catches and finishes. All right, right here, you see Ashland pushing the ball in transition. They don't have anything, so they're going to skate it out. They're going to set up. And again, the simplicity of this can't be ignored. There's nothing fancy, nothing advanced about what you're watching here. It's exactly what it is. They get into a four out, one in. They're going to pass it around the perimeter. They don't even move a ton on the perimeter. They sometimes do those shallow cuts or cut away but they're gonna just stand and space you on the perimeter. They're gonna to continue to post. Great job of just feeding the post, what we call sometimes a buddy-to-buddy -buddy pass, and gets an and one finish. Simplicity. Keeping it simple is sometimes so undervalued. Complexity can be the enemy of execution. And Ashland does not let complexity get in the way of their execution. And there's your reversal, ball screen. They're going to roll and replace. Here's 33. Now she's going to roll in there as she... And there it is. They get that a lot. Let's take a look one more time. So she's going to 
roll and on that pass they will seal you right there and because the other post players are lifting out who can shoot a little bit they can't stay in there and obviously another noteworthy point here is you do need to have others you got to have shooters on the court because if you don't have shooters and you can really you can double it you can you can suck into the paint and clog it up so you've got to in this type of offense you would need shooters surrounding your bigs but in this another great job you'll see this where they just seal out no dribble necessary catch and finish Again, yeah, national championship game you're seeing this all against most of these clips against the same couple teams posting up holding that seal I mean does it get any more simple this is not an easy pass this is not an easy pass look at the seal out you're throwing that ball 15, 20 feet in the air. You hold the seal. Don't release the seal early. And you just catch and finish. Again, they're going to come down and transition. They get a nice initial post up. No double comes, so she goes one-on-one -on -one to work. And she catches it. Love the patience on the initial catch. One more time. She's gonna catch, there's patience. And she's gonna start crab dribbling twice, drop step, finish. Another really nice post feed. This time, this time Minnesota Duluth is adjusting. You can see it's second quarter and they're just getting killed in the paint, killed in the post. So there are probably some adjustments being made in those huddles right here. They, they feed the post, nice left-handed bounce. She starts to go to work. They start digging, they kick, they force rotation. They force a second rotation. And then you get the third, the next pass and the rotation's late. There you get that wide open three. I think you see the coach calling for three seconds in the paint. Again, a few more clips here. Again, Ashlyn getting that post up early. And right here, you're going to see the catch. The catch is a good 15, 17 feet out. Doesn't like it, so they just kick it out. They don't rush it. They're going to roll and replace in the post here. 33 goes to work. One more time. Kick out. No rush, patience. Here's their action they get into when they kick it out. They like to get this reversal. They use the ball screen. They use the handoff often. They're gonna replace, they rolled it. They replace out here. Very common action you see time and time again with them. Really nice drop step into a step through getting back to her dominant hand. All right, it looks like Ashton again, they're getting into it. They're looking to post. Look at the patience on the catch. So now this is where you, you're adjusting. You're seeing adjustments. So Minnesota Duluth has been getting beat in the post. So now they, they double, they get the kick out, the shot fake and the bucket. All right, different opponent here going against Glenville State final four game. Show you a couple clips from this one. Glenville forced a little bit more tempo here, at least early on. And right here, you can see their offense. This is where you see the help from the weak side. Really good job, early post. Now, Glenville does a good job. Look, they're fronting the post, they're doing their job. It's a tough pass, but as they kick it that you see that weak side help one more time let's roll it back a little bit and let it roll so right here she sees she's eyeballing her post player so four is reading the ball handler the point guard here so what does she do she does what she should do which is she's gonna help on the weak side give her teammate weak side backside support because of the front because she's fronting and so like a good passer, a good point guard does. She recognizes that. And you can, again, you can just tell how well coached they are. She throws the skip pass, she reads the help, and this is simple basketball. Wide open three, good shooter, bucket. Love the simplicity at which Ashlyn operates. So you see some pressure here. Ashlyn doesn't get hurried. They get into their 
their system. There you go, you see them roll the post. Nice little backdoor cut, because oftentimes that is that handoff you would see them go into. You'd see that handoff, they're so used to playing it, so the defender reads it, and like any good basketball player, read the play. Now, had that pass been delivered a little earlier, probably a layup. Ashton doesn't panic, they don't force, they say, okay, let's just keep running our offense. And that's what you'll see happen a lot. Let's show that one more time. So on the reversal, you see the ball screen. They switch it, they switch it. So now you've got a guard guarding the big, not as accustomed to guarding the post. And they get on this handoff, you would see this time and time again where they roll and they get the defender on the, on the high side. And because they're replacing with this post, they're pulling that defender with them. And bam, you see easy layup. You'll see it again here in a moment. Again, Glenville's coming with some pressure. Ashland's able to handle it. So now they get into their half court. Immediately start to post up. Here comes your ball screen, your reversal. They're going to roll in there. And here comes that slip. Boom. Same thing you just saw a moment ago. One more time. They're playing on the high side. She gets caught right there. And once she's caught, great vision. And just seal, gets enough physicality to late, easy bucket. So those are just a few of the reasons why Ashlyn is able to win a national championship, go undefeated. You see patience, you see discipline, you see simplicity. All those mixed in together leads to success. Hey, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe. And also, you may like our video on Utah women and their half-court execution as well. Be sure to check that out.